I'm going to tell you about our first presenter, our very first cab off the rank tonight is Travis Bartosz. He's originally from Cypress, California. He's with the Waikato Management School. The title of his thesis is Freshly Picked This Morning, Globalization from Below Meets Farmers Market Discourse. And the purpose of Travis's research is to analyze language themes from farmers markets to understand how farmers markets engage with the processes of globalization. To explain all of that, would you please give a very warm welcome to Travis Bartosz. I'm a PhD student, and I'm also a professional banjo player. And over the last several years, I've been playing bluegrass music in the United States and now around New Zealand. And this is what's led me to my PhD topic. As I interacted with farmers and market managers in between songs and looked a lot like the people behind me in this photo here, I quickly grew an interest in food. And I began reading a lot of academic literature on food. And it doesn't take too long to figure out that our current global food system is seriously flawed. It negatively impacts individual health, communities, the environment, animals, and even politics. Now, the global food system is all around us. But the social and political climate underpinning this system, I think, is at a tipping point. So take, for instance, farmers markets. In the United States, growth in farmers markets has happened quickly. In 1994, there were just under 1,800 farmers markets. But as of this year, there's over 8,000. In Ontario, Canada, farmers markets have grown threefold. And in the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, Farmers' markets have more than doubled in just the last few years. This brings me to the purpose of my thesis. I'm interested in analyzing communication from farmers' markets to understand how farmers' markets engage in globalization. Now, what's interesting about my thesis is that I conceptualize farmers' markets as a global network. Although the markets and their customers typically put persuasive emphasis on words like local and regional, Definitionally, all farmers' markets share the same purpose of directly connecting farmer to consumer. And these interactions are happening every day in countries all over the world. So I see farmers' markets as an alternative to the current form of food globalization. So what's the significance of my thesis? Well, I see it happening on two levels. First, the practical. Organizers of farmers' markets are not typically in direct contact with other organizers around the world. So I see my study as being a link in a chain that can directly connect these people. Secondly, I see my study impacting the way that we conceptualize globalization. By studying how farmers markets communicate, we can better understand communication's role in managing globalization. Ultimately, this could lead to a rethinking of how global food systems can operate. Currently, you can still find me playing banjo at farmers markets. Uh, in fact, I'll be at the Hamilton market this weekend. Uh, at these markets, I'll be interviewing farmers and market managers to better understand the global organizational purpose of farmers markets. Understanding this purpose could lead to a better understanding of food globalization. That was Travis Bartosz, our very first, very first presenter tonight. Was that good? Yeah. It's amazing when you find out what three minutes is, isn't it? It's like instant noodles. It's, oh, I don't know, it's quite incredible. Did he do red light? Did he, did he stop it? Five seconds to spare. So he was, he had, that's fantastic. Well done, good work.